<laughs> What's up everyone, I want to go back to the channel for another unboxing and today we have none other than Porges the A's. Now this is a two dimension. Do know that there's four variants of this figure. There's basically the original, the brush, and the black and tone. And then of course the two dimension, which that's what I got. Now I will be comparing this video as well the previous Porges the A's manga dimension with this one to see what's the difference between these two. And I also will be comparing with my other one piece manga dimensions that I own. So sit back and relax guys and enjoy this unboxing and review. Here we have the front of the box where you can see a picture of how this figure is going to look like. Here we have one side of the box. And there you guys can see four different type of variants that this figure has, which is the original, the brush, the black and tone, and the two dimension. Here we have the back of the box, the other side of the box. Here we have the top of the box and in the bottom right corner you see the Tony Mission sticker showing you the authenticity of this figure. And lastly, here we have the bottom of the box. So here we have the base that the figure is going to be standing on. His foot is going to be going there on two of those pegs and then one is going to be behind it. Now, usually it's like a little uh, stand that goes on the foot, but this time it's just a base basically holding uh, the figure. Here's the lower body of Porgus the A's. There we can see that manga dimension or two dimension, which is what it's called now. Uh, very well done. You have different type of shadings on his body, on his boots. Also, you can see there his muscles, which right away I can tell this is different than the other Porgus the A's. Very well detailed compared to the other one. There you see also the shadings on his shorts and of course his belts and the stuff that he carries. They did a good job putting details on this lower body of Ace. Now here we have the upper body of Ace. There you guys can see his muscle on his body. Basically his arms, his abs. There you see shading basically all around. They did a good job on his hat, his hair, his body, uh, his necklace, his compass as well, his backpack. On the back you see also his tattoo, which is very well done. And then his arms you see that veins, very well detailed. Both arm has, by the way, veins popping out. So basically, Ben Presto did a good job on putting details on this figure. The hat as well looks really nice. Now I got this from boxlunch.com and the price was like $62. Maybe a little bit more with tax and everything. And the height of this figure is almost 12 inches tall. Now let's talk more about this Porgus the A's two dimension figure. More in depth and of course as well more closely on the details. Now first thing first is that base. You are going to need it. I tried not using the base and of course the figure does fall down. So you need the base. The boots, basically both of them, looks very well done. I do like the details. His calf has those muscles. The detail that they've done on this figure is phenomenal. Later on, you will see this next to the other Progress DAs, and you'll know what I mean. This one has more details. Now, here we have the upper body. Now, the shorts has good shading as well, different coloring on his belt, on that knife or sword that he carries. His backpack looks very well nice as well, and you can see there basically his white beard tattoo, which as well looks nice. His body is very well detailed. You can see shadings, his muscle. I do want to say that this figure has a different type of filling. Kind of like plasticky compared to the other one. Or just the Ace or Banga Dimensions of One Piece. This one's kind of plastically, the feel of it. But they did a good job on the details. On his arms, you see veins. On his lower body, you see his muscle. I believe for, for the price of this figure, they did a good job on it. The face of Borges the Ace looks phenomenal as well. Looks just like him. Uh, Really no complaints for me on the face, looks exactly like Ace. Then his hat as well is very well done, does have good shading on it and paint. Now, do I recommend this figure? It really depends. It depends if you're a big fan of Porgus the Ace. If you're a big fan of Porgus the Ace, then yes, I do recommend it. The pose, I do like it, even though you cannot really see that very well, because it's basically like sideways. I still think it's a good pose, do like it. Um, Once again, I do recommend it if you're a big fan of Porgus the Ace, or if you don't have as well the other Porgus the Ace manga dimension, then I think this one is worth getting. But of course, if you already have one, then maybe you don't need to get this one. 
Now here we have Porgus DA's two dimension with Porgus DA's manga dimension. Hopefully you guys can see there the difference between these two. Uh, one is kind of a little bit taller than the other one, just by a bit. I don't think by that much. But where you should be looking more on is the details. Now the details what I'm talking about is more on his lower body that I mentioned. Basically his um, calf. You can see there the muscle. One has it, one does not. Also his upper body, the muscles as well, looks different. It's more defined on the two dimension compared to the manga dimension. For me, those are the only two things. Um, the shading as well, I think is better on the two dimension compared to the manga dimension. But this is just gonna be on depending on the person. Uh, for me, the two dimension looks way better, more sharper. Let me know in the comments down below which one do you prefer, the Porgus DA's Manga Dimension or the Porgus DA's Two Dimension, and why? Now here we have my Manga Dimensions. So we have Monkey D. Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro with the Porgus DA's Two Dimension. Here you guys can see how it looks like having them next to each other. It does look really nice. I do like it. Porgus DA is a little bit taller though, just by a bit, not that much. I don't. I think it's because of the hand that he has. It's basically the top holding his hat. Now here we have Porgus the Ace 2 Dimension next to Monkey D. Luffy 1 of version 2 Dimension and Ronald Zoro 1 of version 2 Dimension as well. And this is how it looks like having them next to each other, which I do like it. Now just do know that pose of Luffy and Zoro is different, so it's more like crouched. Um, that's why it looks smaller compared to Porgus the Ace. And here I have it next to my Figure Zero One Piece. Now I do know that they're different size but if you do have them next to each other manga dimension or two dimensions with figure zero one piece line then this is how it will look like which i don't know how to recommend it it looks way too small uh compared to this figure of progress the ace There you guys have it, that was the unboxing and review of Porgus the Ace 2 Dimension. I really hope you guys found this video helpful, so you can decide if you want to get this. Now like always, don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Also comment down below what you guys think of this figure and share this video with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel for more unboxings like this. Like always guys, thank you for watching, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you until next time. Peace.